against the 10.59 trillion passed by the National Assembly. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted almost all sectors of the economy globally. One of the worst hit is the lucrative oil market, as prices crashed to as low as $17 a barrel. The consumption drop has affected Nigeria in more ways than one. For instance, the country had to slash its 2020 budget by over 320 billion naira, proposing a new budget of 10.27 trillion naira based on $30 per barrel and crude oil production of 1.7 million barrel per day. We need to begin to not tie the Nigerian budget to the price of oil and begin to think in terms of optimal taxation method for the entire nation. Get people, even if you are going to charge them higher taxes, let NMPCs stop being the cash cow of the government. Since 2018, Nigeria crude oil export was pegged at 2.2 million barrels per day. That figure in January and February 2020, however, dropped to between 1.7 million and 1.9 million barrels per day, majorly due to the shutdown globally and in China particularly, where the virus originated. Even though it is cheaper, sometimes people even borrow to close that gap. Uh, we are looking at all options, uh, but particularly as we speak today, we haven't seen the necessity to go into production shutting. Uh, if we have to do this, uh, we know that we have identified the asset that will go into shutting as the market uh, unfolds. As a member of OPEC, Nigeria was part of the oil majors that needed a short-term solution to intervene so as to curtail the rapid falling of oil price. We see global GDP growth in 2020 at a negative 1.1%, a greater contraction than that for the Great Recession of 2008 and 2009. And global oil demand growth is forecast to drop by a whopping 6.8 million barrels a day with the second quarter alone around 12 million barrels a day and still counting. These, Mr. Chairman, are jaw-dropping numbers. The jaw drops even further when we look at the supply and demand imbalance. After the historic 9th OPEC meeting, Nigeria agreed to reduce her output by 300,000 barrels a day. This translates to a current daily output of 1.41 million barrels per day in May and June, 1.49 million barrels per day between July and December 2020, and 1.5 million barrels from January 2021 to April 2022. This is in addition to condescend production of between 360 to 460,000 barrels of oil per day. We have a unique advantage in the petroleum industry in the sense that once people go out of their homes, they are going to need fuel in their cars. The airplanes are going to need aviation fuel to fly. The factories, some of them will need heavy oil to be able to oil their machinery and all that. The agreement reached at the meeting depends on adherence by member countries as the COVID-19 pandemic resultant lockdown has proven beyond the shadow of doubt the volatility of the oil and gas industry. If the price of crude oil goes down further, instead of increasing, Nigeria may just be staring recession in the face sooner than it expects. The issue is policy somersault on behalf of government. So a particular government starts certain initiatives and says they are going to do this to diversify the economy. Another government comes in, cancels all that initiative and starts something else from scratch. But there is a gestation period before a policy or an act or a project comes to fruition. Even if this current government starts, the new government coming in must be consistent and follow it. For now, the country can only hope that the price rebound could translate to additional revenues for the nation. Mwesi Gano, AIT News, Abuja.